Hi everybody and welcome to plcgurus.net. So this video is really, um, its intent is to support the article that we're currently working on which is titled PLC Basics. So what I wanted to do is just do a little short little video here just to kind of go over the, the basic layout of any given PLC rack. So you'll notice here if you do have some experience with with Logix controllers that I am actually demoing a Logix rack. So this is a seven slot rack indicated by the number of slot entry points on the back plane here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, slot zero through six. And over to the far left here, we have a 1756-PA72 power supply, which is going to provide power to our back plane. Okay, and if I open that up, you can see here that you have terminals to wire your incoming power. Now you can supply either a 120 volt AC or 240 volt AC source to this power supply and then it will convert that rectify into various DC voltages in order to provide bus power okay so this is an essential component to any PLC rack any modular type PLC rack anyhow now you'll see here that this type of this style or platform of controller is very modular meaning I can mix and match any assortment or array of, of input modules, processors, communication modules that I choose and simply do so by just sliding them in. Actually, this isn't closed all the way. Let me uh, see here. There we go. And you can slide them by using the little guide rails that are built right into the chassis here. So you'll see there's a top and bottom guide rail uh, for each slot. And you can simply just line up the guide rails and slide them in and press them in. So this is a processor. This is the 1756-L61 processor. Again, Logix platform processor. And typically by convention, we, we put the processors in slot zero. Again, if you're familiar with Logix uh, platform, it doesn't have to. The CPU no longer has to reside in slot zero. However, by convention, generally we still do, okay? It's just the way we've done it and the way we had to do it back in the older slick days um, of, uh, of controller. So again, you shouldn't have to fight with this too much. Make sure things are aligned. You don't wanna skew it and, and potentially uh, bend the pins on the back here. So you wanna make sure you're properly aligned and seated in the chassis. And notice how easy that slides. And then once you're kind of gonna make contact with the backplane connector here, you'll wanna make sure it's in and then just give it a press and that's it. So you would do that for all your different communication and IO modules that you'll have in the chassis. So I hope you found this video informative. Again, this is to support our PLC Basics article that we're doing it right now. And hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching.